Welcome to Mercy's Designs. My name is Mercy and I sell Stampin' Up! products. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how I made this beautiful card, Christmas card, using the Toil Christmas stamp set. So here's the stamp set and I like to keep my dies in the same case. I just add a sheet of this magnet sheet for vent covers after I've cut it up. Anyhow, so this card I think is just so fabulous. I love this stamp set. But one of the problems I was having was getting outside the lines here a little bit. And I'm going to show you a little trick in a few minutes on how I helped combat that issue. So first thing first, we're going to bring in the Stamparatus. And I've already die cut out the image, the die cut of the bird. And I'm just going to pop the bird right in here. And we'll just ink up the bird. And it'll be nice and quick. So if you're, you want to make sure you ink up especially this part of it around his eyes that look will look much better if you have that well inked. And how many times you stamp on there depends on how um, well inked your stamp pad is. Mine is getting a little drier but I feel like I have a little bit more control when it's a little drier, over inked with the tuxedo is kind of not as good. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop this out. And I like to let it dry a little before I start coloring. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to stamp the inside of the card. And I do have two stamparatuses, yes. And it's really wonderful to have because it's very handy, especially for classes. I do hold classes in my home, so. I love having the two Stamparatus. Okay, so um, when I just stamped this directly, I was having a few issues, first of all, with getting crooked, no surprise there, but also some of the letters were getting kind of filled in and it just did not look very good. So the Stamparatus has a lot of um, handy features and having a nice even stamp image is really a huge benefit in my opinion. So setting that aside, I will add a little DSP to the bottom here. And this is from the Brightly Gleaming Specialty DSP. And it's just beautiful and it really ties in this whole copper scroll look which I'm going for. Because on the front of our card we use that um, scroll embossing folder. Ooh, it's a little much on that ink, I mean the glue. Okay, so I like leaving a little bit of a white space there, but that is the inside. So we're gonna set that aside until the end. And right now I'm gonna go ahead and start some coloring. We've given this a minute to dry. And I will speed this part up, but I'll show you a little bit what I'm talking about. With the um, fine tip end, I like to just trace along Normally this would be a very bad idea with a regular marker, but with the blends, I'm not having an issue with it. And it just helps you stay in the lines so much better. So sit back and relax and I'll keep coloring. So here is the result. I think it's just beautiful, this cardinal. We're going to next go ahead and color. Um, I've already die cut this out with the heirloom and um, die cut and then embossed it with the heirloom. It's a two part thing, which I have other videos on that. Okay, so I'm going to just now take the copper delicata. I'm going to set this aside so I don't get my fingers in it. And we're just going to go on the raised parts and um, try to pick up the raised parts. It'll help embellish it. 
And as you can see with this paper, the scrolling thing, it just really beautifully mimics it. And I love that when I can repeat a theme. So using this copper delicata is just perfect to accent. And this is also, um, this delicata copper works wonderfully with stamping images. But if you are stamping, I would recommend definitely giving you, yourself some drying time so it doesn't smear. With this, I'm not as concerned because it is just like a solid part and it is kind of smeared in, in a sense. So not too worried about that. Okay, so I'm just going to flip it on my scratch paper. I'm not worried too much about the smearing for this, as I was saying. Now I'm gonna bring in some foam tape. I get a big piece here. And I'm just going to quickly add this. I do like this foam tape sometimes for bigger areas like this, but I also still love using the dimensionals and I will use the dimensionals on the bird. So this is only for part of this. Okay, so I think that's probably good enough. I'll save that other little piece for another day or later on today. I'm getting really into this crafting and ready for my, I wanna do a bunch of Christmas cards. It is already less than two months away from Christmas, which is hard to believe. So um, I'm just gonna set this aside for the time being and start building our card. So here is our base and this is real red. And here is the beautiful scrolled and very vanilla using the scrolled embossing folder. I'm just adding a little glue here, some Tombow. And it does have, make a difference which direction, but it really wouldn't matter. It just depends what makes more sense to you. So I'm just gonna set this down. And it's just so pretty. I just love this card. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing because I really need more subscribers. And I do try to upload often, although I've taken a little break because of a family um, member. My dad was had to have surgery and was in the hospital. So I was busy traveling. And then I also um, ran a half a marathon, so busy fall. But I'm hoping to get back into the swing of it here. So here is my Christmas, um, the greeting. And I've already die cut this out. And I'm just going to add dimensionals in one spot. Ooh. Okay. And I'm going to stack them because I've already had one layer of dimensionals here. So I want to go ahead and pop up this further. So I could um, add some adhesive here, but I'm, I like kind of like doing it after the fact when I am, I, I can just add some glue dots if I feel like it's too loose. So I don't want a gap here, but I just want it to be right at the top there. Okay, so again, we're gonna double stack some dimensionals and we're gonna pop this bird up too. I love cardinals, they're so pretty. It's just such a symbol of Christmas to me. And this one, I already had taken it off. Okay, so when adding this, be sure that you are not like having him float, but then again, you don't wanna cover your sentiment. So you wanna kind of just, well, this one I'm gonna go ahead and do like that. Tuck the feather, I mean his tail feather behind. I kind of like that look. So with um, the next step is the bow. And I this time I'm going to put the bow down here instead of up in the corner like my original. So this is the copper trim and it's just beautiful and very easy actually to make a bow. Now normally I do not make bows on camera and we'll see how this goes, but you can see it's very easy to mold it. It's got this interesting kind of like texture. It's just wonderful. I, I would say this is probably my favorite type of ribbon that Stampin' Up! has available. It's just fabulous. I hope they never quit offering it like they keep offering the linen trim. I hope this is like one of their staples. Uh, one more time. So it's just fabulous. 
So to secure it, of course, I'm going to use one of the glue dots where, oh, here they are. And one of the things you can do is just kind of kiss the um, ribbon, you know, the trim, the bow onto the glue dot. And I kind of did that a little wrong. So do as I say, not as I did. Do a little better job with aiming, but sometimes when you're making a video, it's kind of hard to see things in the proper perspective. Anyhow, but you get the idea with that. So if I feel like things are too loose here, like here and here, I can just simply go in and get a glue dot, tuck it under, and easy peasy, issue taken care of. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that, and it's just very nicely secured. So here is the card on the outside, and now to finish it off, we're just going to add this and I will bring in the original and you could compare and see which bow placement you prefer. But both look beautiful, I think. And having this, um, the very vanilla in here just really sets it off just beautifully, I think, than trying to write on dark cards tech, not so good. So beautiful, beautiful stamp set. If you um, want to order this stamp set or any other Stampin' Up! products, please email me at mewants3 at gmail.com and I'd be happy to help you place an order with the host code. Thank you so much for watching and happy stamping!